I'm Atsa. Uh, I uh, identify myself uh, as a as a woman. I uh, am also uh, then next uh, close to. I, I see myself as a feminist uh, uh, health activist, and uh, uh, and I would be uh, so thrilled to to know that all of you are uh, discussing the topic of gender and health. Because it just brings together two of uh, my uh, two of the topics that's very close close to my heart and something that you know I also have had the opportunity of, of working with uh, through uh, my organization, which is uh, called the Sama. It's a, it's a resource group for women and health. Health. We are uh, based out of uh, Delhi, New Delhi in India, uh, and uh, we uh, work on uh, on issues of public health uh, on is uh, from a gender and in intersectionality lens. Uh, we understand health as a very comprehensive issue as a human right, and really uh, constantly um, challenge ourselves to you know to to develop to understand better and better gender and health. I hope that this will interest you, because I believe that these uh, two concepts are also so uh, inherently related to all our lives you know activism uh, teaches us that you know that personal is political and political is also personal gender and health is very important uh, topic because uh, gender is also a very um, fundamental aspect of our lives fundamental aspect of uh, the society it uh, exists everywhere and therefore it is uh, important to really reflect and understand as to if gender also affects our health if it is related to our health so i will just uh, one after another read uh, you know read out to you tell you some of the basic concept as definition and i really hope that you uh, uh, follow the same when we say gender you know gender it's a it's a social norm it's a social identity and as as a as as you may be knowing when we say gender it the first thing that comes to you, our mind is is sex you know that is the biological uh, sex with which uh, an individual is born with right with which we are born with and this classification as you all know uh, is based on a combination of uh, you know so uh, bodily characteristics so it's looking at the uh, physical uh, composition of the body or other aspects such as chromosomes or hormones uh, uh, specifically within physique you know uh, uh, reproductive organs and genitalia are focused upon once a person is born you know with with a certain uh, 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 with a certain biology then what happens then what happens is that that person gets socialized and that comes gender so sex is entirely biological gender is social so then what is gender gender is really a combination imagine like a like a very big basket hmm, of attitudes of feelings and behaviors that we as a culture or uh, a society you know we associate with a person's biological sex so gender is social and therefore it becomes a source of a very uh, fundamental source of uh, societally or culturally defined power relations. Why does that happen? Because uh, it is related to, it is very uh, basically related to a power structure called patriarchy. And that is our, the third concept in gender that we really need to understand. So what is patriarchy? Patriarchy is a hierarchical social system. So hierarchy is a social system of thinking. It's in our minds. You know, we learn it, we uh, we internalize it. It teaches us to think that uh, that the male gender, hmm, that men in society are uh, superior than the female gender or the women in society. So what it therefore does, it has created a system or or a, or an you know or an operative world where it is male dominated. So the dominance of men in society is has been built and it leads to inequality between uh, men, women, and therefore these inequalities uh, lead to lead to uh, discrimination. Hmm? So imagine like two boxes. One is man, one is woman. Hmm? And the uh, man cardboard box is better, it is stronger. And that, uh, and therefore, it will get 
you know more privilege more rewards whereas the women uh, box it tells that it is weaker uh, it's uh, uh, you know it's it and therefore it will it re it will receive less privilege you know more decision making lies with with men uh, because uh, it uh, because women cannot make decisions you know and that is what what becomes very important to remember about gender that because it is social because these inequalities that all of us have experienced and some of it um, uh, you know we have we also internalized but what we forget is that this is social and that and there there comes the next concept which is about gender transformation yeah so because gender is social it can be reversed too we can address by challenging it by questioning patriarchy changes can be brought about right so this patriarchal gender uh, system also deprives us therefore of our own individual expressions of our you know expressing what we are feeling about it because it constantly gives us uh, feedback it constantly gives us feedback that no you have to ascribe to this norm and how do we receive these feedback how does this patriarchy work is through social institutions and what are these institutions Uh, family similarly ed, uh, schools or education we also uh, you know learn some of these things um, uh, within a textbook you know uh, or uh, uh, through through uh, uh, through poems or through uh, different literature you know these these things you know the kind of portrayals that that are given like how man as a hero or as a woman as a victim because she is weak uh through media through movies or films so all of these stereotypes these gender stereotypes keep building and they keep getting reinforced in our heads and it 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 does become very difficult but it's very what is uh, uh what is critical is to be alert you know be aware or be conscious of of these of these uh, uh of these power structures that that are playing uh, that are at play within within society uh, and around us so how do we then deconstruct it in in our effort to deconstruct it what we should really uh, understand is that gender also forms part of our identity right and uh, and it's not fixed that is that is our first step to accept that it is not fixed i mean the way to challenge it is also to challenge another system another concept that that is associated with it which is heteronormativity so what does heteronormativity tells because when patriarchy defines men and women it also defines the relationship between them you know how you should how men uh, how you should marry or how you should form a family and uh, you know reproduce children who will again then reproduce men at men and women and and it it goes on like that yeah so it's it's a it's a it's a power structure that gets reproduced and this this you know this uh, assumption of heterosexuality right that that men and women uh in uh, that the intimacy or the sexual relationship uh, can exist only between a man and women and through fixed certain institutions such as marriage or even outside marriage but still you know heteronormative Uh, believing in this heterosexuality is the concept of heteronormativity which is very very close to patriarchy yeah which which uh, is a very it gives a lot of strength to patriarchy and the transgender refers to all persons you know to all those individuals whose sense so in their thinking because you know gender is what we are thinking it's our identity but there are a lot of individuals uh, um if if i am an individual and my thinking of my gender does not match the gender that i am assigned to at birth not the opposite but the complement term to the transgender also exists which is also which will be uh, also useful to know there's a term or or concept uh, it's rather a concept called cisgender hmm? so so if if i'm comfortable with the gender and what is being assigned to me uh, uh, as as an identity then i uh, then i would come under the this this uh, term of cisgender it is also important to differentiate between um, between man and masculinity or uh, women and femininity uh, masculinity is 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 really a behavior or social roles and relations uh, you know 
which are which are uh, uh, laid down for men within a given society and again by giving them by attributing meanings to them so similarly let's come to femininity so femininity is again a, a, a refers to a set of behavior social roles and relations of women within a given society now uh, uh, there are again what uh, all the gender norms or roles uh, are are prescribed now uh, for example so again if if a man cries crying is you know assigned a feminine femininity you know so you so if you are a man you cannot become emotional whereas emotion is a basic individual uh, you know experience it's part of all of us it's part of our, our biology our our society if, uh, the fact that all of us have tear ducts as individuals uh, you know if if it is part of our biology biology then uh, then you know it, it should be uh, it shouldn't be hindered you know uh, but but as an emotion as an expression but it has been given a value what i'm trying to say and uh, here and um, just to understand is that these are fluid these are fluid uh, uh, you know uh, roles and norms and and as individuals we may have uh, both qualities yeah the, the both from uh, masculine as well as feminine hmm? but the and the idea is not to feel threatened by that not or not to judge others uh, you know uh, for for being feminine or masculine uh, the idea is to really understand that that these are uh, these are uh, uh, the values are coming from a power structure and therefore needs to be challenged so in deconstructing gender and again coming back to our topic on gender and health what, therefore what what it what we should uh, move towards is creating a gender perspective hmm? uh, and what is what is a gender perspective uh, it is uh, it is a theoretical and methodological approach that uh, enables us hmm, that allows us to recognize and analyze identities viewpoints and relations and then really uh, looks uh, look at you know if we understand understand this uh, this uh, comprehensiveness of health and that gender is a determinant of health what it will help us as health activists is to really uh, uh, analyze look at our health policies look at health systems uh, you know and there uh, do a gendered analysis take the example of uh, of you know uh, sexual health of adolescents of young girls or and also young boys just the lack of knowledge about uh, on sexuality education how that also makes our adolescents and particularly young girls again because of again gender there makes them more vulnerable to 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 infections to uh, in, even um, you know hiv and and these these are the things that we can easily understand a good health policy uh, should address the inequality because if the inequalities are the reason for my poor health then i then my inequality need to be addressed right so if that policy is addressing inequality or not or even further even more critical is is, is by any chance is it you know is it uh, 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 increasing those inequalities as health activists or why as as individuals who are uh, uh, interested to understand politics of health why it it is so imperative uh, for us to understand gender i hope it is clear because you know because we how we we just saw that how gender uh, is is an uh, is coming from the source of a very fundamental uh, societal structure of patriarchy and how patriarchy is working in tandem with with you know with other power structures because we say health is also you know socially constructed like like other things how we understand health whose health matters you know when uh, uh, how health is not just uh, disease or lack of disease you know how it is beyond that how there is also positive health health is not just the um, absence of disease right health is something that is very personal to us health is uh, <clears throat> very comprehensive health is also political uh, in a way that you know uh, everything uh, around us affect us so if if we are saying that health is located uh, within us in our body in our uh, in our physical realities uh, then we are uh, our own surrounding impacts impacts that as well i would say that social construction of illness of course uh, it, it is something to be looked at and because you know we are we are saying we are constantly and repeatedly saying that how gender is socially constructed 
and therefore our understanding or approach you know uh, our, our alertness to certain uh, health situations or certain health problems uh, 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 are bound to be socially constructed imagine a family and there both the um, both the man and women experience uh, same symptoms of fever you know but but they only have means or they have to decide you know who to take then uh, invariably we see that uh, there also you know um, behavior as, as as a societal behavior it is it is seen that uh, you have to give priority to to uh, the health needs uh, to health need of men yeah uh, and it is it is very um, uh, fundamentally linked to 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 the value we ascribe you know to 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 their role because because they are seen as breadwinners because you know uh, they become therefore they become being a man becomes more important we cannot uh, you know say that that family alone is responsible that they are not deciding that they are not making the choice you know prioritizing women's uh, women's need because it is so difficult for them they also have uh, poor resources and the fact that this gender decision making is coming from a very uh, you know very structural uh, thing so uh, while while we are doing that we should also be reflective on on you know on the uh, 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 on a very systemic level similarly uh, in the social construction of health we also need to uh, you know look into and analyze uh, the the medical education you know the the training the, the training of individuals to become medical practitioners first of all a medical education is not really talking about you know these different genders yeah so how a transgender person um, i mean starts from there so so as a health system as a medical system uh, you're not uh, you're not prepared uh, to to uh, to uh, accept everyone you know because you're not prepared because you have this fixed imagination of a body yeah or, or 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 what that body would also look like from outside to inside which is not the case uh, and uh, because all of us diff all the bodies are different and and this becomes so important we can we should just start from there that all female bodies are also not alike yeah different bodies uh, bodies across cultures bodies across you know um, um, uh, regions in in the world i mean just just the mere uh, supposition that uh, 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 one that there is this one kind of body is, is is just so disputable right women's health issues are will only be reduced to uh, you know pregnancy or if you are training to become obstetric or you know or, 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 or obstetrician or gynecologist so pregnancy related healthcare but then uh, the uh, the same women body or uh, women also experience other you know health problems too uh, including cardiovascular including uh, you know malaria including uh, fever including infections these are the problems you know and and these are the very systemic uh, 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 how to say violation of our rights it's it's not it's not a, um, it's not something that's happening um, in in isolation or is a one of incident these are very systemic violation of our rights because and these impact you know they, because they form uh, they form the experience of of going to uh, of accessing health system and therefore they they impact because you can improve the health system you know or the or the understanding of health by only it needs to be exposed to diversity yeah of individuals to diversity of identities that exist there right because we are saying health is social and political